my wife and I said um, at the beginning of the week it's incredible our our year flies past and you know, our, our boys are into crash now and um, you know, when I came uh, the only thing that our oldest could say were yes, no and, and Coca-Cola and at least now I can speak the language and people have been tremendous with us and um, you know the, the way that people have, have helped us to to settle into to Limerick were, were brilliant and you know we're very thankful for that. That first game in, in Cork against the Ospreys, um, you know, the first time that I've been there and the noise inside that little stadium and you know the way we played that night. The home and away uh, wins in, in the Champions Cup against Leicester that uh, you know was a, a great experience. I must say the the whole day of, of the of the cast um, around six game in, in the Champions Cup, you know coming to the field and field underwater and you know they said that we're going to postpone the game getting back on the bus and I remember driving out I asked Nala manager um, listen will the people come back and he said well um, you know at least I'll have a few more drinks under the belt and you know the way that the whole stadium came back and supported us through through that day and you know we beating them by 48 points to three you know, Thelmont Park is, is special um, every time you you walk in there you get goosebumps and when you walk out the tunnel and you see pride in in, in front of your face um, you know that everybody in there player supporter management member um, everybody's got pride then um, you now the the two lawn game stands out um, you know that that full house at Thomond Park and the way that you know the 16th man carried us through and the way the players responded you know we were down and out in certain parts of that game. We kept believing and kept fighting till the final whistle and, and came through that. Must I enjoyed the trip to South Africa as well, the the, the two weeks there and I really enjoyed the start of the season. You know the Glasgow game was pretty special with Rory kicking in that kick and, and also off the field. Uh, remember the first day of, of training when the internationals were back and uh, there's some very special people within the group and we've had a good few laughs together. It's very difficult, especially if you're internationals away. But the opportunity in there is to use your squad. And we said from day one, we're going to use a, a squad and you need a squad. And you know, Pro 14 gives you different challenges in, in terms of travel and it being a long season. And then, you know, those six Champions Cup games are pretty special, uh, especially this year because we play four of the six against top English opposition. And, you know, on the verge of playing the, the champions of France home and away. It's nice to, to know the players now for over a year and you know, the likes of, of Gavin Coombs and Finin Wichely, you, you didn't know these guys, well I didn't know them when I arrived at Munster. And, you know, working with them and progressively trying to improve them, I think we also changed our mindset in, in the academy for no longer getting guys to only want to play for Munster but we want guys to want to play for Ireland and you know, we want to we want to build us, us ourselves up and you know, hopefully we can all rise by lifting it, each other and uh, you know that that will help with the the stand of our academy and you know some guys that have came through this year were brilliant guys like like Shane Daly, Liam Coombs had a very good start and I think Bill Johnson is playing good rugby so it, it's great to have our academy guys getting through the system. Now I think the improvement in in the players that's that's the thing that gives a coach the most joy is, is to see our guys improve and you know that's been brilliant. And at the very first day, I said to the guys that, you know, you must always, always, always be yourself. And I, I want people, not players, people to, to be happy. And I believe if, you know, if, if players resign, it's a sign that, that they are happy. And it's a very enjoyable environment. And I've, like I've said before, I think we found a good balance between training very hard, but, but also enjoying it and enjoying each other's company. And you, know, you spend so much time at, at the office. Um, but if you if you work for Munster Rugby, if you play, if you coach here, you never come to work. It's your passion. We we enjoy each other every single day. So it's brilliant that all the guys are signing on.